$2. And what are we gonna get for it? Uh, between $25. Now, here's a really exciting update for the channel. 45% of you guys that are watching these videos have yet to hit the subscribe button. It's my goal to try and get that number down to 40%. So if you're enjoying these videos at all, it'd be amazing to get you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, but it has a massive effect on the success of this channel moving forward. And by having you a part of the community, I can promise you that I'm gonna make the most consistent uploads that I possibly can and have the quality of these videos to be the best that they can be. It'd be amazing to have you a part of the community. I look forward to having you on board. How are you? You have to tell them. I can't smile. <laughs> Courtney's just been to the dentist, everybody. Another bill, another day. Another bill for Courtney. <laughs> How much did it cost you? Um, well, it's like 400 and something so far. But I, had, I can't smile, so we need to... Don't look at me. <laughs> Do you want to just quickly mention this whiteboard that we're, uh, we're looking at here? Yeah, so we're... Currently at 3,618 for the month, third week in. We had a pretty good weekend, so over the Friday, Sunday, Sunday, we did about, is that about 1,400? Yeah, close to it. Yeah, which is good, which is what we're about to put in the mail bag this morning and talk to you guys about. Um, we're on average of 302 a day, so a little bit off the 355 to get our 11,000 revenue of the month, but it's all right, we've got time. We do have time. It is the 13th of May. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, as you can see there, guys, we've got a few weeks. My niece was born. Oh, now, forget the dentist chat. Yeah, lots happened. That's the biggest news, isn't yeah. it? I just had a baby, um, little girl, my sister. So very exciting. On the 9th, actually. Super cute, too. Yeah, very cute. Charlotte is her name. Charlotte. And she's fit and healthy and well. And yeah. I think she comes home today. Today, yeah. So big today's day. a big day. It is. Very, very exciting news. Huge weekend. Mm -hmm. Huge weekend of eBay sales. Yeah. And we're going to pull out the 23 or 22 odd sales that came in. We're going to start with the, the worst one of today. And it's only going to get better from here, surely. Mouth and all. <laughs> um, pretty Little Liars. We just don't like Pretty Little Liars. It's a very slow sell through rate. Matt would have brought this before I even started with him, so that says a lot in that as well. But thirty dollar sale price for that, thirty two fifty, one to five. Um, also, you find it at all the thrift thrift stores. It's one of the most common DVDs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, we still have. Yeah. Like I've done a huge cull, and I got rid of a lot, so I probably only would have kept like. Well, there's a couple. I can see there's a couple pretty little eyes up here. And down here. And down there, you got a set as well. But see, look, that's season one to three. I just don't. Yeah. Yeah, no, don't recommend, but it's a sale. It's a sale. It'll it's go on a small satchel. Uh, Thirty-two fifty. not the worst sale price. I was surprised when I saw it. Mm. Um, just wouldn't recommend that you guys pick that one up. No, no. This one is the next one, guys. We have got Shadow. That you guys hopefully remembered me picking up in a video probably last Thursday or last Wednesday. I'll put the video out. Um, found this plush 46 centimeter shadow. Um, I grabbed him because he was only five dollars in a thrift store. Just love the fact that he was a slightly bigger plush to the normal plushes you often see. Um, and then there was a viewer of the channel that ended up buying it for their autistic son, I believe, mm. who is obsessed with shadow. <laughs> so I think that's why a lot of these sort of sales come through for the plush toys. You just never know who is out there buying for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, so it was just really nice to get that message from that viewer. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure her son is going to absolutely love it because it's in great condition. We should write a little note in it. We will. Mm. We'll write a little note. I'll get their names. I'll, I don't know if I've got his name, the son's name, but mm. I've got her name. Yeah. Uh, we'll put it into a box though, I think. I don't know. Yeah. You'd, you'd probably have to fit in this into a large satchel if you didn't. So. I reckon we could save some money by putting it into a box. I don't know if we've got one on us. Mm. Um, but look, guys, we don't do a lot of plush toys. Mm. No, I just, we don't. I just, well, I did. I had the problem earlier back in the day. Um, but we have condensed out a plush pretty significantly. There's maybe two or three others that we're trying to sell. This one turned around really quick, which you can't really say is a fast sell through rate because it's a viewer purchase. Um, hence the reason why we're out of the plush game. Mm -hmm. But uh, if it wasn't a viewer, I still thought that Sonic the Hedgehog plush, brand new with tags, might have sold well. Um, 25 bucks is what we got for it. All right, we've got some games up next that we're gonna do as a bit of a, a group mm. chat. 
Yeah, well, they all sold individual, but as a group chat for video games this week, this is our individual sales. Skate was the worst one at 15, which I'm not sure why I still had that listed. Well, it's a great game because I actually yeah. only got that one or two weeks ago. So I listed yeah. it because I'm like, we'll sell it in a heartbeat. Yeah. And then we, we did. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was fine. And then these range from about 24 to $29 um, individually. So... I could probably speak around this one here. Um, you guys might have, might have remembered me talking in a, oh, a what sold maybe one or two weeks ago, where we were looking at the the games that we've got up for sale here that are all twenty dollars plus now, mm -hmm. and I, I noticed all of these games down here that were actually really good titles, Mario Kart on the Wii, Wii Sports Resort. These are cracking titles on the Wii, and then Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which obviously is up on the table now, sold. Mm -hmm. We just had them priced up for too much money. Yeah. And I went in and I manipulated... Look, I've actually sold a, a Wii Sports Resort as well. So I've now sold a Wii Sports Resort, a Super Smash Bros has come through, and we've only got two Mario Karts left, which we had a few more of. Mm -hmm. So great games, great titles, but they aren't going to sell if they're not priced correctly. Mm -hmm. And that was the biggest issue with these games. I actually manipulated the pricing ever so slightly on a few, that obviously being one example. And we've had them actually come through and sell now. What was it? What What do you reckon was it manipulated at? Well, I think it was around 30 and I brought it down to 24. Yeah. So 30 into 24 gets the sale. Yeah. And we've got so much quantity of games on the shelf. Yeah. That it's like, let's just get it done. What's the actual true market? Let's go back in and have a look. Oh, I actually should list the one out for, you know, 24 bucks. Yeah. And then we get the sale. Yeah. And look, they're all at $24 going to go into a, a medium tracked envelope mm -hmm. for seven bucks. Mm -hmm. So there's actually going to be some great profit in those. Yeah. And that's the way we like to do our games moving forward. Now, here's a really exciting update for the channel. We've had a Pokemon card sell. This is the Mewtwo. Um, really, really nice card. It is a number 10 of 102. So this is the original base set Mewtwo. Um, 1999 Wizards of the Coast. Really good condition. So much so that I was almost going to put this one into grading with PSA. Um, we might have been able to sell it for 250 to 300 odd dollars if it came back with a really nice grading. In the end, I just said no. Uh, I just said I would list it up as a raw card in great condition, and we got a $65 sale price for this card. I actually listed this card up on Saturday, and it sold on Sunday. So as we all know on this channel, the Pokemon card niche is a great selling category uh, on eBay, and we've also got another Pokemon card sale that's coming through later in the what sold. But the update that I have for you guys, when I went to the States last year, I found the big guys. I found the 1999 Venusaur Shadowless Hollow, I found the 1999 Charizard Shadowless Hollow, and I also found the Blastoise Shadowless Hollow. I can't show you the paperwork here, but this is PSA documents. We're going to go and get them graded, Courtney. Oh, I was like, did, did, they send, did we send them? But well, we're going to send them. We're sending them. Yes, good. I went to America last August. This has been 10 months. Yeah. And people have said, what have you done with those cards? I've decided to sell everything off Raw, which are all pretty much now sold. Mm. Uh, we haven't spoken about it much on the channel, and no. I've held on to the big three. And I've always had the intention to go and get it done. Mm -hmm. But I've actually just pulled my finger out for the very first time over the weekend. And uh, I've got all the paperwork done. I just actually need to get them into a soft loader or something. Mm -hmm. the, what they need to go in officially for PSA. Yeah. The, the packaging, packaging it. needs to be done the right way. Yeah. But anyway, I'll grab them um, this How week. How long is that process? Well, it was actually looking like about 45 days. Yeah. So about six weeks, I reckon, mm. um, to have them, once they've arrived, to have them come back with the grade. Yeah. So I think we're about six to seven weeks away from having a video that I'm going to put out to show you what the big three come back as. Come back as. And I personally think it's going to be around three to $4,000 worth of values collectively, mm. those, those three cards. Obviously, the large money coming out of the, the Charizard. Mm. Um, could have added a few more in like the Mewtwo, because this one is pretty mint. Uh, but I just thought the most rare Blastoise Venusaur Charizard would be the best ones to go and get graded. And I am going to be selling them as well. We're not going to hold on to them as nice as they are. Um, we're going to sell them off, and I'm, I'm going to work out maybe maybe a viewer opportunity before we put them onto eBay. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. These ones we've sold before a few times. Hey, Love these shoes. Yeah. The Nike... Dunk. Dunk sky high. Yeah. 
Women's US 10, which is a good size. We brought them, was that a week or two ago now? Mm. Yeah, $15 in store. Oh, Palm Beach. Palm. Yeah. Yeah. And we sold them for 70 So fast sell through rate. Good size. They're pretty good condition as well. Mm. I think the fact that they're a wedge and they're a size 10 mm -hmm. is pretty kind of uncommon. Yeah, usually you get like a six or a seven. Because people want extra height when they're size five or six. I'm a size nine, nine and a half, and I do not want extra You'd be height. six foot five. I, that makes me unwell. You'd be six five if you put those on. Yeah, no, but... Somebody might yeah. want that. Some women can rock these, yeah. Yeah, but they are in great condition. They are the best shoes. Um, a really good sell-through rate every single time. The Nike Dunk Sky High, 70 bucks. We'll probably put them into a medium satchel, do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, I was talking about the Pokemon cards a couple of sales back. Um, actually, I should say, the next four sales that we've got to finish this What Sold segment are all $100 plus items. Mm -hmm. Big, big sales. Um, so stick around for that. Um, this sale here was some more Pokemon cards. A really cool story behind these. I'll flick them over and let Courtney run the camera over these. Um, these are shadowless base set cards. So I don't know if the camera can pick it up. How we know that is number 102 there, that tells you that it's a base set edition because of the card number. But then there's also the date next to it, 1999 Wizards. So that right there, when you're scanning cards at garage sales and things like that, this information down the bottom here is crucial information to work out what the card is. The reason why these cards are slightly more sought after is actually because of this line. This line down here is what we call shadowless. And when I was talking about the Charizard, the Venusaur, and the Blastoise that were going off and getting graded, they're also shadowless. And what that means is they were part of the very first printing. There's shadows down the other ones that were printed after these. So based on timeline, these are slightly rarer cards. And now what I was doing on eBay is I was trying to sell them off individually. Can't do that. I was trying to sell them off individually. And I was, I, we were listing them for like 10 bucks each. Um, and they weren't selling. So I thought, righto, let's go ahead and do them as a group. And they sold for $85 in one listing. Mm -hmm. So 15 cards sold for $85 that would have otherwise sat around in our store for 10 bucks free postage, made us like a dollar or two in profit that we can get done in one lump sums for somebody out there that wants to get a large allocation of shadowless cards, which are quite rare. It's just a better way of selling them. And I think you guys need to consider what stock have you got? What individual DVDs that you might have or what individual video games that aren't worth a lot of money that you could put into a group listing just like this? Um, by doing that swap, it was able to turn around and sell within two days um, of making that change. Very easy to do. Delete all the ones for 950 and then go ahead and do a group listing uh, with 15 cards in one lot. Sell it as a mixed lot bundle and, uh, and put a slightly less of a sale price on it and you'll get a, a quicker turnaround on your item. So... 85 bucks, I thought that was a pretty cool story, a good sale price. Mm. And like I said, the next four that we've got are the big boppers over 100 bucks. Now, before we get into those big items, I want to take you through the sponsor of today's video, Flip Weekly. Now, Flip Weekly is run by Matt. He's an eBay seller himself, and he basically just documents it through newsletter form. And his newsletter is literally exploding. The guy's already up to 500 readers, and his goal for 2024 is to try and get to 1,000 readers. So with this sponsorship, I really wanted to promote it and try and get you guys to go across and follow along and join his weekly newsletter. It comes out every single Thursday. He's got giveaways, he's got super useful information, and he even gets user submissions as well from his readers that will put in information around their finds as well. So it's just jam-packed with information. I think YouTube's a great source, but I also think this newsletter that Matt's producing is probably one of the best eBay newsletters that are out there at the moment. So go on, jump on, it's absolutely free. It'd be awesome to get you a part of it. Uh, flipweekly.com, uh, Matt, Thank you very much for sponsoring the video. All right, next one are these women's Doc Martens, um, size US8. These always sell really well. We actually had another pair that I just listed last week that had a tongue tear on them, which we noted in the listing and they were listed for less, um, but they still will sell because these always sell. Um, but these ones are really, really good condition. There was a little bit of mark there. Mm but that was noted in our listing as well, and but, we got $100 for them. Yeah, 100 bucks. Yeah. And that's not an uncommon sale price for Doc Martens. No. Well, but how much did we pay for them? Those exact ones I'd have to go back in and have a look at. Yeah. Not too sure, but I have often paid up to 50 bucks mm -hmm. for Doc Martens. Well, 
We've sold them for more than 100 before, haven't we? We have, and I think the reason why we went less is just because of a few different blemishes that we've got here. Yeah. And then even further less on the uh, torn pair that we bought last week. They were yeah. only 60 bucks. Yeah, which they will sell. So fluctuation in price based on condition that you've got for your item, mm -hmm. especially in the shoe game, uh, is super important. Because as Courtney said, $100 is not the most amount of money you'd get for these shoes. No. If you checked eBay, the average sale price for docks are probably $150. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm happy to always pick them up in thrift stores and, and flea markets for $50. Yeah. Um, but again, always based on condition. The torn pair of docks that we're listing up for $60, I bought in a thrift store for $12. Mm -hmm. So it's all, it's all based upon the quality of what you've got. Yeah. But regardless, they're going to sell because Doc Martens are one of the best shoes to find. I'm pretty sure this is the one. We've got a PlayStation 2 console bundle here, guys. Uh, nice uh, silver controller, albeit it is used. It definitely is a worn you know, silver controller, but it all works. We've tested it. Um, got the memory card as well for an eight meg megabyte. Um, now this one here, the code number, guys, check that one out there, Courtney. SCPH3002. Uh, just useful information because we've got a few more up here. If you want to show the camera, Courtney, we've got quite a number of PlayStation 2s. But even that one there, that one has an R next to it. So they are all slightly different. You've got to, you've got to have that information in the listings because certain people out there purchasing their consoles do want to know that information. Um, so we'll always take a photo of a close-up of that code. Um, but we've got $125 for this device. Um, a very, very easy one to ship off. As long as you're putting a lot of bubble wrap and butcher's paper, we've just stocked up here at Bunnings with some butcher's paper. Um, we've got a stack of bubble wrap here as well um, that Courtney's going to be using with a box from Bunnings once I go and find one. Um, and they ship off for about 20 bucks worth of shipping. So if you're buying it for about 50 bucks, having about 20 bucks worth of postage, that's about $70 out of pocket. This sold for $125. So in my mind, that's pretty good. You're still going to make about 35 to 40 odd dollars in profit after the fees come out. Um, so I'll always do that. If I can get them for less than 50, mm. obviously even better. Um, but the sell-through rate on these things are really quite good. So we've really transitioned now into trying to do a lot more consoles. We're doing a lot of um, like DVD, VCR combo players. They're starting to sell really well for us now that we're buying a few more. Um, and we're getting out of the hats and the plush toys and the low ticket stuff. And this hard good, this electronics, we're getting some good conversion. And as you'll notice, they some of our better sales over the weekend. This one here is a Selwyn consignment, actually. The Pokemon Sapphire version. What is this? Is this Game Boy? Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah. A classic. Yeah. This is a very high um, sale price, $145 for this one. But consignment, so we're splitting the profits 50-50 with Selwyn. Um, minus fees and posts and whatnot, but this won't cost much to post. Will we do a box for that, do you reckon? I don't think we'll do a box. I think we'll just put some bubble wrap around it and we'll get it into a tracked envelope. Mm -hmm. um, we have done that before with games. Yeah. I think based on the fact that the envelope has got tracking, mm -hmm. um, that's that's really quite handy. So I don't think we need to do too much more than that for an item that is so small. Yeah. Um, you whack enough bubble wrap around it, it's pretty durable. Yeah. Um, let us know if you guys would put something as small as that into a box. Yeah. We've got away with it. Not that we're trying to get away with anything. I, I just think that's a fine way to ship something like that off. Yeah. Um, but good sale. Great sale. And Selwyn's come through. Yeah. There's not a lot left from Selwyn's consignment lot now. Yeah. Might even be it. So you'll yeah. have to come back over and give us some more stuff. Yeah. Funnily enough, consignment is something that I actually want to start to push a little bit more. Um, pretty much any item that anybody wants to sell. So, say for instance, you don't have any time to, to work on eBay like you want to and you might have bought a bunch of stuff, you might have a huge death pile and you're just not getting around to selling it. Um, consignment is something that we want to do a little bit more of. I've, I've, I like the idea of consignment for, for sort of more high ticket items. Um, so if you've got anything that you want to sell, shoot me an email, link is in the description. 50% split of the profits. I've just been doing it with Selwyn on the higher ticket stuff and it's just been going so well because he works nine to five and doesn't have the time to do the listing and the shipping and the storage of stock. We obviously can. Uh, and I think a 50-50 split of it is pretty fair. So yeah, mm -hmm. if you guys have got anything that you don't have time to sell and you want to get rid of it, definitely leave us an email. Um, what a cool sale this one is to, to have it be number one as well over the weekend. Pretty damn exciting. Yeah. Courtney and I deliberated on this Dryzerbone riding trench coat of a jacket 
uh, in a thrift store on th Wednesday. Was that in the last video you just did? Literally the last video. Yeah. So quick of a turnaround on this thing. Courtney and I forever was looking into the, we, we were looking into this, weren't we? Yeah. We just wanted to know whether or not that was vintage or not. We were looking at comps on eBay in store because the thrift store had this priced up for $80. Yeah. And we were like, oh, you said it as well. You're Back like, geez, 80 yeah. is a lot of money. Yeah. Should we do it? What do the comps say? And we saw some pretty good comps between two to $300. Mm -hmm. um, we identified that this was actually a vintage tag. Yeah. Uh, we were loving the fact that it was a size extra large. Yeah. But the only blemish on the jacket was the fact that it didn't have its little raincoat hoodie. Mm -hmm. So there was a little blemish to the, uh, to the numbers. And I thought, well, look, if top end is 300, we're buying it for 80. We could probably list this up for 220. Yeah. So I did. Well, you, well, you did. Yeah. You listed it for 220 and we got 220 48 hours later. And I was just, I flicked you a note on Instagram. Yeah. I was like, check this out, Corny. Corny was on the coffee on the... I was at work, yeah. You are making a couple of coffees and I, I flicked it through. I was just absolutely wrapped by it. It's so good. Uh, we're going to put it into a large satchel, I think. It's once... big. It is big and it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. But the, the stipulations for satchels are five kilos, I think. Mm -hmm. It's not five kilos. No. So I think if we roll this up nicely we get it into a large satchel and get it off. Yeah. Um, it costs about 15, 16 odd dollars. Haven't done a large satchel for a very long time. Where's it going? Not sure. I think, no, it's domestic. It's not an international. Oh. Um, but a domestic sale for 220 bucks. I don't know what the e-profit calculator would give us as a profit for this item. Mm. It's got to be around 100 bucks. Yeah. About 100 bucks in profit. So good. And talk about trying to build up higher average sale price type items in store and getting rid of the other stuff the low ticket stuff, mm. that means that you need to make these sorts of $80 purchases. Mm -hmm. You can't expect to get a $220 sale and pay $2 for your item every single time. Mm -hmm. It's obviously great when the Hail Mary plays come through and you find that $2 item that turns into $220, but you can't build a business like that. So that means you've got to spend money to make money, as they say. And uh, we learned a very big lesson last Wednesday and we documented it. And now we can further document the success of it. The anaesthetic didn't slow you down. <laughs> Record time. All right, so guys, we're going to load up the car and we're going to go and do some thrifting. Um, we do need some stock, so Courtney's just going to throw this into the trolley. We're very fortunate because we can just drop it off out the front of the post office. Um, so yeah, we'll do that and uh, hopefully go and find a bunch of stuff. Oh, Courtney, there's one here. I don't want to miss this one. <laughs> what have you got there? Oh my god, I've got feeling bad. Have you? Yeah. Does it hurt? Um, the Prince and Me collection, one to four. Two dollars. And what are we going to get for it? Uh, between 25 to 30. That's pretty good. Yeah. Just spot these, which is an awesome pair of shoes. Nike Sun Club. Oh, look at that. Little shark on the, on the Nike tick. Unfortunately though, $39. Can't be doing that. We've got terrible reception in here. Mm. We just spied these. A pair of Steph Curry basketball shoes. Only issue is they're a size US 6. US 6.5. And, and they are $20. Nothing's coming up. They're in good condition though. Mm. What do you reckon? 20. I reckon no, but I don't know Steph Curry. You don't know who Steph Curry but I don't is. Know, like, what these shoes Steph Curry's a good good basketball player. Yeah. I reckon I reckon we go ahead with it. You gonna do it? Yeah. I'll I'll teach you about Steph Curry. I'm gonna put a clip up right now that you can watch that I'll show the viewers. Time for Curry from half court. It's gone! This is a pretty cool find. We've got a Stanley Cup Champions. Courtney, how can we get it? It's only $3. Do you know what the NHL is? Hockey. <laughs> there it is. It's got a little, um. Jose Theodore. Jose. Jose Theodore. Yeah, Jose. Jose, not Jose. <laughs> Do you reckon we get it? No. You don't want to? 
That looks cool. Star Wars VHS can do well. I just don't think these are the ones though. I think you need an older version. Hi. Hello. I end up leaving that NHL Stanley Cup flag thing behind. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I should have just grabbed that for novelty's sake. Maybe somebody out there that was a Canadiens fan might have been enjoyed to have that. Mm. Uh, it was only three bucks. It would have been. It would have cost hardly anything to ship off, but didn't you grab it. Uh, you were very against it. Just because it sounded funny, but like that's not a reason. <laughs> well, you also didn't know about the NHL or Steph Curry. Shh. <laughs> Can't blame me if you're not into your basketball or hockey. Yeah. Um, but we did go ahead because I'm into my basketball. Mm -hmm. with the Steph Curry shoes. Now, condition we speak about so heavily, these are in great condition. Yeah. Size we speak about so heavily, the size though. Not amazing. Not great. Uh, six US, and a half? yeah, men's <laughs> six and a half. So, we had a look and I think they're the three zero, I think it's called. Um, Steph Curry's jersey number 30, that's where the three zero comes into it. Oh. Um, Steph Curry three zero basketball shoes, comps are around 50 to $60. Now, if we list these up in this condition for 60 bucks, we put it into the e-profit calculator and it'll stand to make us about $22. Mm -hmm. um, I think they will probably fall on a best offer for around 50 to 55. Um, so that'll mean that the profit will fall to around the $15 price point. So you pay 20 to make 15 to 20. I think on a slow thrift day like it's been so far, it's probably yeah. worth the grab. Yeah. Condition is super, super important, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, how many items do we have so far? I, I did really well. I didn't actually speak to you guys. Um, I didn't have the camera rolling, Courtney, when I found those DVDs earlier today. Oh. Well, actually, I lie. I do have the footage. I just didn't have voiceover about it. Right. So, we found um, Two and a Half Men, and it was seasons one to eight. And I've realised that any season over season five is actually worth a bit of money for that TV show. Mm. Um, so we're going to be able to list that up for about $60 when we get back home this afternoon. Yeah. And I only paid, it was half price day in that thrift store. So we only paid $4 for those, no, $8. It was a dollar each. Yeah. $8 for two and a half men season one to eight. Mm -hmm. And then we also found another set of um, TV, well, no, it was just like a random DVD. One was worth 30 and another was worth 50 Mm -hmm. which completely surprised me. Yeah. They were only 50 cents. And then finally, we found Roseanne on DVD, season one and two. We've sold that, haven't we? We have sold that before. Yep. And that should get us about $25. So... This sun is blinding. Yeah, you're in a bad spot. <laughs> That's not going to help you either. <laughs> uh, we, we spent 11 bucks. Yeah. And the resale value is about $160. Crazy. That in comparison to spending what we just did with the shoes. Mm-hmm. So the DVD game is still is still a strong one. It is, yeah. As long as you're finding the uh, the right the right DVDs. Yeah. Like any category, right? Yeah. But um yeah, so that we do have that under our belts from our little thrift trip today. Now we've got the other DVD and the Steph Curry shoes. So how many is that so far? Listing? It's about six or seven listings. Slow. Slow because we're only at about two hundred dollars worth of value. Um, now, it is currently, what time? 3.30. 3.30. So, shops are open for at most another hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I might try and spin the car around. We'll head back home. We'll try and hit up another couple of stores on the way back. Didn't end up finding anything in the last couple of stores that we went into. So, it was actually a pretty quiet day yesterday uh, out in the thrift to end our Monday. But it's a new day. The sun is out. I'm going to get back into the thrift to find some more items. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today. I'm going to leave you with a big thrift trip video because I felt like we we're a little light on for thrifting content that I would normally put out in this video. So go and tune into that one if you're looking for some thrift finds. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.